44 past seven. One of the givers asked me last week to talk about my skateboard, in particular my vert setup. And so I've done an unusual thing and I've brought all of my pads inside the house. Normally these guys do not come in the house for obvious reasons. But here we have my vert bag. Well, first of all, skateboard. So this is a Melon deck. Now Melon was a company that a mate of mine formed um, only a few years ago. And sadly, it's uh, he's no longer doing it. So you can't get these boards any longer. But this was an eight and a half inch for a big fat foot. I got a size 12 foot, so that's why I needed a big board. Um, old school Cortec um, Proton wheels, not the disc wheels, the Proton wheels. Can't get those anymore. That's my board. My helmet's nothing special, it's just a Protec. Well, actually, no, this one's a, called a Bucky. I think it's a Bucky Lasek style, if I'm correct. Got some branding on the back there. That's, that guy's been with me for ages. Now I will open my pads when I sit down for this because this bag far out, I can't believe this is inside this stuff absolutely reeks and it's it's you know I've already showered I'm in my pajamas I don't normally open with this bag is that light flickering no yeah I wouldn't normally open this up I wouldn't normally ever have this inside but here's my vert pads and um, just a set of elbows see these are TSG knees they're not that great to be honest, they're probably a little small for me. That's the problem with them. Um, these are kind of new. I bought these just recently. Um, <laughs> ironically, after I broke my elbow. But um, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. This bag car carries a nice spot right there for a... <laughs> you know what that's good for? <laughs> it's the perfect size for a home brew. It's probably not what it's designed for, but Fits in there perfectly. Look at that, and it's all it's all foiled in there, so like keep it nice and cold. Pretty certain that the manufacturer of that bag didn't design it for a beer, but that's what I use it for. Now this bag is actually an Evolve skateboards bag. So Evolve, you might have seen me on my electric skateboard. I'm going to put this away later, but this is the company Evolve. Um, see ya. The electric skateboard's here. It's a Bamboo GT. That's my guy there. I use that for um, transport to get around. And I've even gone to and from skate parks using that thing. But that's a pretty good segue. Oh, hello. Did I just bump that? I'm using a new kind of setup here. I'm put a, I put a light on top of my camera. I'll just show you that in the mirror so you can see what I'm dealing with. Check that out. Yeah, that's not going to be a permanent setup. That's just temporary. But um, yeah, that segues into this quite nicely. That Evolve GT Bamboo isn't as keep bumping this and thing it's gonna fall over because that's just balancing there by the way it hasn't got a thumb screw a thumb screw on the hot shoe it's just sitting in there yeah that um, skateboard I'm not really a huge fan of it but another company um, who you might have heard of in the YouTubes um, Jedboards now Jedboards um, have booked me to fly to Melbourne and cover their event there's an event coming up called the Technology Gadget Expo it's this guy here it's in Melbourne it's on the 19th and 20th of August. And so I'll be there vlogging.